today we're going to be reading the interactive read aloud from Wonders Unit 5, Week 5 with Ms. Mason. Before we read today, there's some vocabulary that you're going to need to understand in order to have some comprehension with this story. So the first word, some of you might already know this word, is contented. If you are contented, you are pleased or happy. For example, I feel contented when I ride my bike on a sunny day. See, I do like the sun sometimes. The next word you're going to need to know is intend. If you intend to do something, you're planning to do it. For example, we intend to go to the movies on Saturday. The next word, the third word, is project. A project is a special task or assignment that's often done with others. For example, the children worked on a science project together. We do like that one a lot. The next word is structure. A structure is something that is built. For example, my school is a structure made of wood and glass. The last word you're going to need to know is marvelous. I really like this word, marvelous. It's something is marvelous. It's wonderful or excellent. For example, our dad is a great cook. He makes marvelous food. <laughs> Those are some great words. So the story we're going to be reading today is called The Sheep, The Pig, and The Goose Who Set Up House. Hmm. This is a tale from Norway. What are we thinking as we're reading? Why might a sheep and a pig build a home? Who might build a home with them? Let's go back and read these words again. So as we're reading, keep those questions in mind. I like to read and then I like to see if I can find the answers in my, um, in my story as I'm reading it. So here goes the story. Go. a sheep lived on a farm. He was always given plenty to eat, so he was quite contented. Ooh, there's that word again. With his life. Remember, contented means pleased or happy. Let me show you. Long ago, a sheep lived on a farm. He was always given plenty to eat. He was quite contented with his life. Then one morning, everything changed. On that morning, the farmer's wife brought his food as usual. She set it down in front of him and said, Enjoy this good food while you can, dear sheep, because you won't be around much longer. She cackled to herself and added, <laughs> The next time we meet, you will be on our dinner table. The sheep was shocked by what the farmer's wife said. But since he was quite clever, he came First, he ate all the food the farmer's wife had brought him. <laughs> then he butted down the door to his pen and ran away as fast as he could. Oh, I think I'd run as fast as I could, too. I would have ran away from him. The sheep ran to the neighboring farm where his friend, the pig, lived. Good morning, dear friend, said the sheep. Good morning to you, replied the pig, who was building a larger pen for himself. But tell me, dear friend, why do you look so disturbed? The sheep whispered in the pig's ear, I have just been informed that the farmers are fatting us up because they intend to eat us for dinner. <gasps> the farmer's wife told this to me. Oh, my, cried the pig. What shall we do? We will go off and live on our own, said the sheep. We will build a house for ourselves. Yes, exclaimed the pig. It will be our project. I will use my hammer. We will build a fine house together. Then the pig and the sheep ran off. Hmm, I think I can tell that by looking at the picture that this is definitely a fantasy story. I don't think I've ever seen a pig use a tape measure or a goose use a hammer. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. I see somebody in the background. I think that 
Soon the pair met a goose that lived on a nearby farm. Hello, said the goose. Where are you both off to? Hello, said the sheep. We are running away because we learned that the farmers are planning to eat us for dinner. So we are off to build ourselves a house and live independently. <gasps> oh my goodness, cried the goose. One of the farmers is planning to eat me. Let me go with you, he begged them. I am a fine carpenter and I can make beautiful furniture. After all, every house needs furniture. Hmm, that is very true, replied the pig and the sheep. You are welcome to join us. So sheep, the pig, and the goose went off and found a good location for their home. Using timber from the forest, the sheep and the pig built a fine structure that was big enough for three. And the goose made lovely furniture for their home. Hmm. Hmm. What's going to happen next? Before too long, the happy trio moved into their brand new home. They were unaware, however, that a wolf lived in the woods nearby and had been watching. You can be sure that this wolf was up to no good. He wanted nothing more than to get into their home and eat them all for dinner. So the wolf planned a trick to get in. He knocked on the door of their house and said, I'm just in the middle of baking and I've run out of flour. Can you spare a cup? But the free friends knew all about the tricks of wolves. After the trouble they went through to build it, they were not about to be eaten in their own home. As soon as the wolf came inside the house, the sheep gave him such a butt <laughs> that he almost went through the ceiling. The pig began to bite his legs, and the goose pecked him on the back with her strong beak. The wolf ran out of the house and into the woods. Whew, I was never seen or heard of again. And the three friends lived happily ever after in their marvelous home. <laughs> Let's think about some questions as we read through. In the very beginning, what does the farmer's wife tell the sheep? How does this make the sheep feel? What does he do? On the second card, what did the sheep tell the pig? How does the pig feel? What do they decide to do? Then, what animal and the sheep and the pig meet next? What is the goose good at? What do they all do together? And then that last card, what did the sheep want to do? How do the sheep, the pig, and the goose stop him? How does the sheep react? If I said those questions a little too fast, you can always pause the video as I'm reading and answer the questions with whomever you have in mind. I hope you enjoyed this week's interactive read aloud. Talk to you soon. Might have to figure out how to stop it. Sorry, guys.